Let's check back in with our chief meteorologist, Brant Miller. You know, when you said tornadoes, I know that gets everyone's attention. And uh, we're looking at a high impact event. Um, the exact model location of some of this stuff could still vary. Let's talk safety first. Where do you go? Where is your safe place? And we've had this graphic prepared. Uh, that's a strong interior room away from windows. If you're fortunate enough to have a basement, the center of the basement. If you don't, get to the first floor, a strong interior room. Someplace like a bathroom that's got strong construction and away from windows. I uh, had a viewer send an email that, uh, that she heard to put on, if you've got a bicycle helmet, if you've got a, a storm that's right on you, put the helmet on and go, as goofy as that sounds, get into that interior room. Now the model guidance has changed slightly, but you just can't say, okay, this is it. This is where the storm is going yet. You get the idea that something is coming toward us. And look at the moisture that's already showing up. Down in Livingston, Fort Iroquois counties, there are a couple of storms already popping up this evening. This is what is predicted overnight tonight. Numerous showers and thunderstorms. There's five, six o'clock in the morning. And we've been watching this storm all week. The Storm Prediction Center has upped it a notch. We're now sitting in the enhanced risk uh, you see the moderate risk to the west and all forms of severe weather are there, including tornadoes. We shared something earlier this afternoon that was showing where the shear in the atmosphere is being lifted vertically by a strong jet stream overhead. And they're jet streaks. We'll share those in a moment. Look what's changed a little bit from what we saw earlier this afternoon. This area of showers and thunderstorms, the onset more likely to 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And notice how it shifted farther to the south. Again, this is model guidance. This could still change, but the trend on a couple of American models is now pushing this southward. Here are those rotation tracks where the model guidance is indicating there's rotation being lifted vertically. Notice how they're not impacting the northern suburbs as much as the southern suburbs. There's six o'clock in the evening and look at some of these streaks across the southern suburbs, southern Cook County into northwest Indiana. Keep in mind, this system is going to be moving extremely fast. Some of these storms may be moving at 60 to 70 miles per hour, screaming out of here because we've got a very strong jet stream overhead that's lifting that air into the upper atmosphere. Look at these rotation tracks, seven o'clock in the evening. If you're in the south suburbs, know your safe place. We had a viewer that sent an email earlier this afternoon that they lived in a modular home on a slab. And I instructed them, call your local fire department, a police department, uh, find a library, a church, or some strong structure that you know you can go to that's your safe place.